My father, rest in peace, he passed this January, his um, neighborhood in Lakewood, California, used to have these beautiful jacaranda trees that were so mature that they actually formed an arc that touched in the center of the street. And when I would drive to his house, it was like driving through a purple tunnel. It was gorgeous. And now the trees are gone, and my dad's gone, and, and the place isn't the same. Change is part of life. Loss is part of life. And sometimes things that reach their maturity, if not uprooted, can threaten our foundation. As leaders, and for me as a consultant in the field of leadership development, we give a lot of fanfare and a lot of attention to new initiatives. We celebrate new initiatives. I get hired a lot to facilitate massive kickoffs, new leaders, new teams, new policies, you name it. What we underestimate is the endings. That leadership is as much about endings as it is beginnings. Raise your hand if you're a gardener. Okay, so you know what I'm talking about. Every gardener knows about pruning. Every gardener knows about pulling weeds from the garden. And at the same time, every gardener being connected to the life and nature understands that every tree uprooted can hold bird's nests. And that even a weed is a flower longing to bloom. And so it is with our organizations. And that's going to be the focus today, a balance of the head and the heart of organizational change.